It was just two years ago that ADL announced the transformational project MMC. Designed to address the wants and needs of customers, major model change would involve every aspect of the business. A hugely ambitious project, it set in place plans designed to underpin the business for many years to come. MMC simply stated is the future of our business. It's the most phenomenal opportunity to underpin the business from 2014 onwards. I think it's going to be in some ways very significantly different from what we've done in the past. So what we're doing is making sure that we absolutely understand the wants and the needs of our key customers. One of the objectives we have is to be able to demonstrate to customers that the whole life cost of owning our vehicles is measurable first of all and it is lower and cheaper than, than that of the competition. It's going to be the most thoroughly engineered new product that we've ever launched. We've been looking at the deliverables of the project and the way we've tried to describe that is our ABC approach and, and that stands for a platform approach, best cost of ownership and customer enhancement. What we're really doing is we're taking this as a phenomenal opportunity getting our sales, financial, purchasing, manufacturing, quality, aftermarket people, and I've missed a few like a wedding list, but getting all of those folks to play at the top of their game to understand what best in class looks like is really what will take our business to the next level. As the project progressed, it became clear that the constant theme would be customer engagement. Listening to customers and learning from their wealth of experience was vital to the development and success of MMC. And following early meetings, these views became more apparent in the spring of 2013 with the unveiling of a mock-up at Skelmersdale. This third stage has been a little bit different to the, the previous two stages, being focused on two key elements of the design. Firstly, the digital uh, mock-up of the interior of the vehicle, and secondly, the physical cab mock-up. It's a novel idea, because before you would design a vehicle and come and sell it to us and say, here's our bus. Now, actually, we feel part of the team because we actually involved right from the beginning now, so we can put our input in. Getting people to come from, from bus companies is something which is, is unique, as I say to ADL. They're giving the bus operator the chance to have his input. And what has been good today and over these past months is that ADL have involved operators in trying to redesign a vehicle that is, you know, what everybody wants. But actually now to see it, sit in it, feel it, touch it, so for me, this shows all the benefits of all the, the time spent with ADL, putting our ideas together as a team and actually seeing the end result. That they've taken on board some of the things that in the past that we've had difficulties with and they seem to have made significant improvements. Um, no, it's fantastic to see that um, ADL have taken on all our ideas, um, you know, and a lot of the, the design features have been developed through what we've said. Um, and the input we've given and we just can't wait to, um, to see the actual product, get our hands on it, to test it on the road um, and see what it can do for us. The standard of the connections for the wiring and the actual wire itself. So it's everything from that to the engine, to the windows, to you know the coat hook in the driver's cab, everything is covered in great detail. A lot of the concepts which we've talked about are now starting to see actually emerging in the design and how they're going to be applied and generally it seems to be very well liked whether that's reliability improvements, weight reduction, styling and design, the new glazing system, uh, quick replacement. There's been some very good uh, positive feedback. I think it's really engaging um, because this is all about customer service and that's what we're all here for um, to get um, the best possible customer experience. So yes, it's imperative they ask us at this early stage. Yeah, obviously I think ADL have listened to uh, what their customers and drivers are about to say about these things. And because they're, they're getting people from the big groups 
they're going to end up with a, a product which will go across the whole of the country a good range. And this will be the next generation purchase for us. It would be nice to see it and to know that we've been part of it. Um, I think it will be a real step forward and it will certainly shake the industry up and it will give the competitors something to think about. The final and possibly most important piece of the customer engagement jigsaw came in late 2013 at ADL's new Larbert facility. The MMC project team persuaded some of the most influential operators to clear a space in their diaries for an update on the project. After slideshows and discussions, the group was invited to view the new bus in build on the shop floor. You know, we've tried to get the message across that their feedback has been really essential to us. We've shown them where we've made the, the changes and the improvements that they've asked us to do. So ultimately, they really do feel like this is their bus. Well, what we've done over the last few days is started off with a little bit of feedback from the previous session, and then we've spent some time really looking around the vehicles, looking at the composite interdeck and, and roof, looking at the second vehicle which basically is a, uh, is a structure that we can look round so how the wiring routing has, has actually been achieved, how we've implemented new connectors, uh, how we've uh, changed the modular design of the harnesses, all aimed at improving reliability. It was at this point that the chosen audience gathered in the centre of the room and the partition was raised. Everyone expected a next stage prototype but no one was quite prepared to see a virtually complete Enviro 400 MMC drive towards them. What ADL had achieved in a short space of time was nothing short of remarkable. first time that the customers get to really see what it is that we've been talking about. They've seen images on a computer screen, that they've seen the mock-ups of the cab. Certainly some people were, were very surprised to see the vehicle in the state that it was. A um, really good opportunity to make sure that we've both been talking the same language all the way through the project activity. Uh, but to actually see it in the flesh um, with the complete bus wrapped around about it, then yeah, it's been very positive. It does make it feel like it's my bus, like I've had a say in the, the design of this bus. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a sense of involvement in this vehicle that we've probably not had with other, uh, other builds. It makes it hard for us as operators uh, not to be impressed and, and not to be uh, uh, massively interested in, in what the final uh, end result is going to be for us. There's definitely a feeling that this is, we're part of this. We've not just turned up and someone's shown us a new product. At, at the end of the day, it will be our vehicle. So if it doesn't meet what the public want, then when we've got it wrong. Look forward to being able to have it as our bus. I feel that I've contributed to the build. This is, um, this is my design. So yeah, it's brilliant. Well, you certainly have, you feel part of it, don't you? You can actually sit on the bus and say, actually, that was something I suggested, or they've taken on board the discussions that we've had. The response has been absolutely brilliant from everybody who's seen the vehicle. We're getting feedback all the time. The comments generally have been absolutely brilliant. It's lots of well thought out comments. It's become more and more positive because we've listened to them. It's quite, quite revolutionary actually for a manufacturer to ask its customers what they want from day one. They've actually delivered most of the product that we've asked for as well. They clearly have listened and they're applying that learning in their new product uh, which is, uh, is hugely impressive. So, with this innovative bus finally unveiled to customers who were instrumental in its conception, the next stage was a rigorous test program, where it would be subjected to an exceptional testing regime, simulating the full life of a bus in the toughest possible conditions. The new Enviro 400 will be ADL's most reliable product ever. The 
things that have been talked about through the development stage of it have actually come to fruition. Paramount importance that we needed to save weight. Um, ADL have embraced that. It's bright, it's light, colour scheme is very good. It looks really good. It's all the little things. It's what the passenger wants to see. You know, a five foot five or a six foot five person are going to be equally comfortable in this cab. That's good. That's long overdue. And I will say that it actually looks smaller than it is. Because inside, it actually feels bigger. It feels more spacious. The LED lighting, uh, the rear window, the seating with no runners on the floor. It'll enable us to keep the vehicle looking cleaner. Uh, I don't know anywhere else where the customer gets the opportunity to actually have an input. transformational project MMC continued to gather pace as production plants geared up for what will be the most reliable and fault-free bus ever. A consistent high-quality finish throughout the design, a build accuracy second to none and every vehicle for every customer finished to the same high-quality standard. At this stage Let's take a moment to see in more detail some of the many improvements that have been designed in to this revolutionary new product. The new Enviro 400, the bus that raises the bar throughout the whole industry. Welcome to the future. As soon as you board the new Enviro 400, you sense that this is a new experience. Let's start at the driver's cab. There's a gloss finish that flows from here seamlessly into the rest of the interior. And the thing that stands out immediately is this, the assault screen. 100% functional, but with gentle curves that blend with the surrounding area. In addition, the distracting reflections are greatly reduced by the attention to detail that has gone into the whole design. There's a large and convenient space for the ticket machine, all in easy reach of the driver. So, what's there to see inside the cab? Well, the first thing you notice that's different is that it's spacious. And then, there's the door. Buses have long been bugged by doors that rattle. Well, that all changes with the new E400. This door is all new, and thanks to these seals, it won't rattle. At last, a rattle-proof door. Even the lock has been re-engineered to work smoothly and quietly. It's this level of detail and refinement that has gone into every aspect of ADL's new bus. How about the driver's seat? Well. It's ergonomically designed for a wide range of drivers. After all, the guys and the girls behind the wheel come in all shapes and sizes. Everything the driver needs sits comfortably within reach, including the start and gear buttons and the parking brake. There's a massive amount of adjustment available for the driving position, and the wheel moves with the seat, so all drivers can find their ideal driving position. Visibility is exceptional too, with a new wraparound screen and improved sight lines to the front and sides and well-positioned mirrors. The switchgear is new too. E400 has adopted the positive feedback switches, overwhelmingly favoured by operators. They're functional, easy to see, feel and operate. Screen technology is critical too, and ADL's team have looked at all possibilities. And the result? They've come up with a layout that cleverly positions everything positively, but also unobtrusively. The same applies to the optional cooling fan. The cab structure has been shaped to accommodate it as part of the overall design. There's plenty of space for the driver's jacket, and his storage area is a gem too, providing space for everything but the kitchen sink.
So there's a whole new experience for the driver, but what about the passengers? The thing that hits you immediately is the light, airy and welcoming ambiance, both downstairs and upstairs. This is primarily down to the exceptionally large windows, including a rear window, which was a unanimous recommendation of ADL's customers. The whole interior has been designed so that shapes, colours and materials blend together. There is also an extra seat on the London spec bus and an amazing five more in the hybrid model, with no compromise on legroom or space. And these are all full-size seats, not the compromised mother and child versions found on some buses. They also benefit from generous headroom. Heating and ventilation also makes a quantum leap in the new Enviro 400. In tackling this, ADL engineers went back to basics, designing a system that will create a consistently warm environment in the winter, but also capable of providing a constant cooler temperature in the summer. The new system is based on a heating unit located in the lower saloon, and it's designed to force air to all corners of the bus, both quickly and efficiently. For buses fitted with the air chiller in the upper saloon, passengers will experience a consistent temperature between 17 and 18 degrees, wherever they are on the bus, all year round. The staircase, or should I say square case, is a new approach. This compact design takes up less space, is easier to use and is brightly lit, making it safer and more user-friendly, thanks to a continuous handrail running from top to bottom. There are some major hidden design benefits too, and many of them pursue that holy grail of the rattleproof bus. Redesigned hand pole mountings and securely fixed wiring looms are things that passengers won't see, but they will have a beneficial impact on their experience. Both driver and passenger will welcome the E400 and all its benefits. But what about the operators? What gives ADL the competitive edge as far as they're concerned? Well, the fact that over 70 operators were involved in the creation of this new bus was a good start. But let's look at some of the specifics. Firstly, it weighs less. And that means better fuel consumption. It's 400 kilograms lighter than the previous Enviro 400. And that's with this rugged six-cylinder, 6.7-litre engine. The engine is the latest in a long line of proven and reliable Cummins engines, but now with Euro 6 emission levels. Everything working for optimum performance and minimum fuel consumption. The rear access opens higher, and the side doors open wider, and they can even be removed altogether. All items needing regular maintenance or replacement are easily accessible. Similarly, at the front of the bus, the demister unit is easy to reach through this panel. The electrical system is all new too, a fully multiplex system based on a proven design. The wiring harness is a great example of attention to detail and saving. It's made up of short modular sections rather than one long harness. So, if there is a fault, the short section can be replaced with a new section clipped easily back into place. The harnesses terminate in well-accessed bulkhead locations rather than being tucked out of reach. The entire wiring system is contained inside the body rather than exposed to dirt, moisture and impact damage. The electrical system has been centralised into one easy-to-reach electrical distribution centre. Located at the top of the stairs, this contains all the control units and major components in one neatly laid out location. This is where all diagnostic routines are carried out, and if customers want to add their own electronic systems, there's plenty of space for that too. On the new E400, there's greater access throughout for all systems that need maintenance or replacement.
The wiper motor can be reached and removed from the driver's cab. The fuel tank can be removed from within the bus rather than from underneath and being aluminium, it's lighter and easier to handle. The destination display is easily accessed from the upper saloon for cleaning and maintenance. Every fastener on the bus can be removed or tightened using a small range of standardized Allen keys. Outside, the skirt panels are easily removed too, with the fasteners accessible to undo, but out of sight so the bus presents a smooth exterior finish. But what about reliability? Well, ADL's engineering team have analyzed a vast database of repair and maintenance issues and addressed them one by one. There's a new design of dashboard electronics to counter failures, new fixings and seals for wiring harnesses, upgraded cabling where they're subject to extreme heat, dirt or moisture, and new batteries that retain their charge longer, all located on a new slide-out tray. LED lights inside and out are much more reliable. There's a new wiper motor, more accessible and with a new design. There's a more reliable single loop heater featuring a new brushless motor. The doors and ramps are all new, modern and reliable designs with the option of an electric door. There's also an option for a new electric ramp, 25 kilos lighter than the previous design. The hand poles with improved mountings can't come loose. The suspension system now features electronic control to stop buses settling when parked and the air system has been modified to stop leaks. The entire body is structurally stiffer, helped by bonded front and rear screens eliminating water leaks. And that brings me nicely to one of the most radical and contentious areas within bus design. The glazing. Until now, there's been the traditional 1950s technology, gasket glazing or bonded glazing, which is generally regarded as more attractive, but which requires buses to be off the road for several hours. Actually, neither is ideal, which is why the Enviro 400 is the world's first bus to feature ADL's unique QRG glass replacement system. This flush, leak-free installation is a major time saver. Damaged windows can be replaced on the spot and the bus can be back on the road in minutes. The external appearance is much improved, but the real benefit is on the interior of the vehicle where the inner trim is identical to a bonded vehicle. The glass is held in place by plastic trim strips, which are easily levered off. However, the glass remains in place by discrete screw mount blocks, which sit under the trim. The entire replacement process can be carried out by one person from inside the bus, without having to rely on harnesses or scaffolding. So, it's simplicity and innovation, along with over 200 built-in improvements, that are set to keep the Enviro 400 in its market-leading position. Welcome to the future. Enviro 400 MMC, a masterpiece of contemporary design that redefines the double-deck bus. Meeting every one of the objectives set, it provides a whole new world of excellence and advantage for drivers, passengers and operators alike. 
haven't seen many first off builds and prototypes, nowhere near, not a patch on this. Look, something fresh, something new. First impressions were spot on. It is quite stunning. Very impressive. So yeah, it's part of us in there, which is great. They have done what they said they were going to do. Like a breath of fresh air. Particularly impressed with the quick release mechanism for the windows. I think that's a, that's a real bonus. I'm just blown away by the window design on it. The quality is good, it's very good. And usually when the design is good, it makes it a surefire winner. I suppose the real asked question is, would I buy it? Would Lothian buses buy it? Absolutely, why not? It just blows you away. I think it definitely will be a success for IDL, yeah. I can't see us not buying it, to be honest. Yeah, I believe it's going to be a success when it's launched. It will be a success regardless. Probably it's going to be best in its class. Enviro 400 MMC. The future is now.